iOS, iOS XE, NXOS? What is all this? Did my spell checker just go crazy? Or is this some new texting language? Well, let's find out on this edition of Enter One TV. Welcome to Enter One TV. Today, we're gonna to talk about some of the different networking operating systems that run Cisco devices. Most of you are familiar with Cisco's iOS, or Internetwork Operating System. This is the world's most prevalent operating system running on millions of devices around the world. Cisco iOS has been around since the 1980s and has evolved drastically over the years. In fact, it is still used today on most Cisco routers and Layer 3 switches. But what about other OS types? What makes them different, and what types of devices do they run on? To answer this question, let's welcome Dan Stanton. Dan has been a Cisco Certified System Instructor, CCSI for you techies, since 1995. In addition to being one of the senior instructors at Enter One, he develops authorized training courses and materials for Cisco. Dan, please enlighten us on the differences between iOS, iOS XE, and NXOS. Thanks, Bob. You know, as you said, Cisco iOS has been around for a very long time. It's what we call a monolithic operating system. This means that it includes its own multitasking kernel along with the protocols necessary to perform the basic functions of a router. This is the path discovery of the network and packet forwarding. Over the years, Cisco iOS has evolved from its basic routing functionality to support Layer 3 switching and numerous inter-networking technologies as they evolved, including telecommunications traffic. iOS devices are typically managed one at a time from the command line interface and include a user exec mode, privilege mode, global configuration mode, and some other modes. However, Multiple devices can also be managed using a network management software application. For example, Cisco Prime infrastructure can be used to manage, visualize, and monitor the entire iOS network from a single user graphical interface. Moving on, Cisco iOS XE is an evolution of Cisco iOS. It's what's called a modular operating system with an iOS daemon actually running within a Linux kernel. As a result, it has the exact same look and feel as Cisco iOS. Because of its open and flexible design, iOS XE supports control plane and data plane separation, multiple CPU cores, as well as programmability features. iOS XE was designed to support Cisco's next generation device platforms, most notably the Catalyst 9000 series switches, not to be confused with the Nexus 9000s, which we'll discuss in a few minutes. The Catalyst 9000 series switches are purpose-built platforms supporting Cisco's digital network architecture, or DNA. Instead of managing these switches one at a time, Cisco DNA Center is an application that provides a centralized management dashboard to design, provision, and apply policies across the entire network. Cisco DNA Center is also used to implement software-defined access, or SD access. This creates an overlay network on top of the underlay fabric of routers and switches. It actually creates an abstraction layer which treats the fabric as a virtual switch on which virtual networks are created. This brings us to Cisco's Nexus, or NXOS, which provides the foundation to create a Cisco unified fabric, one that combines both LAN network traffic and storage area network, or SAN traffic. By converging the network on a single physical infrastructure, cabling in the data center is literally cut in half. This sounds great, but why do we need a special OS for the unified fabric? As you know, the LAN uses classical Ethernet, which is best effort delivery protocol. It discards packet when the network is congested. This is unacceptable in a data center storage area network, which is why fiber channel is used. 
Fiber channel in the SAN provides a lossless service using a buffer-to-buffer -buffer credit system. This mechanism, it only allows frames to be transmitted when the receiver has buffer space available. Thus, no drop packets. NXOS actually evolved from the Cisco SAN OS, which was developed for the data center MDS fiber channel switches. As a result, NXOS supports something called Fiber Channel over Ethernet, or FCOE, which encapsulates a fiber channel frame inside of an Ethernet frame for transport across the Nexus series switches until it reaches a SAN fabric. For this to work, NXOS supports jumbo frames and provides a lossless QoS service for both native fiber channel and FCOE traffic. Fortunately, NXOS CLI commands are very similar to Cisco IOS commands, making it easy to learn. The Nexus 9000 series is an example of switches that run the NXOS software. But they're also the foundation for something called Application Centric Infrastructure, or ACI. This is another Cisco software defined networking solution. When a Nexus 9000 is placed in the ACI mode, it uses a new operating system that works in conjunction with a centralized Application Policy Infrastructure Controller, or APIC. The APIC provides a single point of automation and management for the Cisco ACI fabric. Well, that pretty much covers the major Cisco OS types. There are some others, but hey, that's a discussion for another day. Back to you, Bob. Thanks, Dan. So there you have it, iOS, iOS XE, and NXOS. Regardless of what OS you're using in your organization, Enter One has the training you need to help you get the greatest return on your Cisco investment. Thanks for watching Enter One TV. Make sure you hit the subscribe button below so you can be the first to see future episodes. For more information on how we can help, contact your Enter One sales rep or send an email to sales at enterone.com.